morning students and here what we are seeing is gear tooth burning gear tooth burning see two scales are there and some more knobs rotational as i said you like diamond nailing levers here some screws are also available okay and by using this gear tooth vernier we can able to measure tooth width and here again what we are seeing is here a spark gear okay and mainly this gear tooth vernier is, is an essential one in our gear making industry a gear tooth vernier is widely used to measure the tooth thickness as the tooth thickness varies from the top to bottom any instrument for measure a single tooth must measure the tooth thickness at a specified position and the tooth that is one addendum and here this is per gear and uh, uh, what we are seeing here is some single tooth and teeth a total depth is called tooth depth and the tooth depth is 2.25 uh, module and here we can uh, here You can see some on one blade. You can fix one addendum that is top surface. The 2.25 uh, module is the total depth, and one one addendum is called equal to one module. Okay, and uh, the gear tooth vernier caliper is an instrument similar to the ordinary vernier caliper, but having a second beam, second beam at right angle to the main beam as shown figure. and uh, as shown here this additional beam carries a tongue sliding between the jaws see and which can vertically slide up and down so that when it rest on the top of the tooth the tips of the jaws are at the correct distance from the tooth flank from the required measurement the reading on the horizontal vernier scale gives the value of chordal toothness total tooth thickness that is ctt okay and uh, this measured values are then compared with the calculated values that is the procedure for using this instrument and accuracy is limited by the discount of the instrument the vernier itself is not reliable to closer than 0.05 mm or perhaps 0.025 mm with practice the measurements depend on two vernier readings each of which is a function of the other the wear during use is concentrated on the jaws the caliper has to be calibrated at regular intervals to maintain the accuracy of this measurement and here this is per gear see by using vertical jaw by using vertical jaw you can fix one addendum that means one more one more after fixing that one module one module you can tie this screw see here we are measuring this to thickness by fixing three holdings a normal vernier holding and also blade holding here see it shows the 2.15 mm now we are seeing 2.15 the tooth thickness this is the principle how to measure this tooth thickness by using gear tooth vernier okay and also this gear tooth vernier is a accurate one and main uh, instrument in our gear industry to make uh, to measure gears okay and the main things or a vernier gear tooth vernier what we have seen is useful for measuring the chordal tooth thickness of a gear tooth at the pit circle of gear the horizontal vernier caliper is useful for measuring tooth thickness of gear and the star at 456 gear tooth vernier caliper is designed to measure in 0.01 inches also when where the larger gear are also available using the distance from top to bottom for the same purpose it can be also be used for measuring hops from the thread tools in our industry the tooth thickness ts of a gear is defined as the arc length between opposite faces of a tooth measured around the standard pit circle 
and this is a length which cannot be measured directly. So in practice, a different dimension of a gearwork measure which is then used to calculate tooth thickness. And the main disadvantage of this instrument is taking a serious measurements one after one is a little bit difficult. And here the accuracy will be high as like our ordinary veneer and the pressure angle of a gear is defined as the angle formed by the radial formations of uh, the gear tooth profile and that is also measured by using this tooth thickness which is uh, taken from uh, this gear. And here what we are seeing is gear tooth veneer and what we are seeing here is S per gear and we have uh, seen one more tooth thickness of this gear a particular tooth and uh, next immediate uh, tooth measurements little bit difficult by using this veneer caliper there is one only one uh, main disadvantage or otherwise it will be comfortable like uh, our veneer caliper and also it is comfortable for any other instruments in gear industry uh, for measuring gear tooth thickness or gear width uh, particularly in spub gears it is very useful thank you